Well, we're living a bit of a jet setter lifestyle at the moment because we just got off the plane at Gatwick. Uh, we came back from Dubrovnik a few hours ago. We've then driven to Heathrow where we're getting on another plane and courtesy of VW, I can't believe I'm saying this, courtesy of VW, they have paid for us to go to the Dusseldorf Salon. So they paid for our flights to go there. Which we, we are, are really excited about. We, we cannot, cannot wait. wait. It's going to be amazing. So, so if you don't know who we are, we are a bus and beyond. We do a lot of um, travelling videos about travels in our camper van and tours and reviews of all the stuff that you would need lots of different fans and things so this is going to be amazing yeah let's go and check <laughs> it out To Dusseldorf. Can we see anything out there? That's the airport. You can see the tower. You can see the control oh. tower. We'll have to have a look at that in the morning if it's light enough when we get up early. But big show tomorrow. So we are going to hit the sack. See you in the morning. So this is super exciting. We are in the Dusseldorf caravan salon and we have finally come up to see the California Grand and we're right next to the 600 at the moment. Sean's having a really good explore on the inside. I am, come and have a look inside, <laughs> it's amazing. So this is the uh, California Grand 600 or Grand California. It's actually written Grand on top, so maybe it's a Grand California. Brand new from VW. Uh, it will start um, arriving at dealers in spring of next year and we've heard that prices are starting from 55,000 euros which is pretty competitive so it'd be really interesting to see how that compares but let's have a look inside so the 600 has a transverse bed it has these extra bits on the side it's 195 centimeters long now I'm gonna I'm actually gonna try this out and see what it's like I am um, about 5'11 I think 5'11 <laughs> you see, actually, you probably are. I do fit. I do fit, but I am. See where your legs go. I am wedged in, but this is, in fact, that's really soft. So this is a really clever little feature here. You can see that they've actually taken a big cutout of a yeah. bit of the van, essentially, so that you can actually lie lengthways, and that means that the van doesn't have to be as long. No, it's got a. Um, it's a very comfy bed. It's got these. I've seen the. I've seen them before. It's got these like frolly spring base. Now that's good to see because I have said in previous videos that I did wonder if VW were going to start using the frollies in their California range. So I'm, f I'm glad that we're finally getting to see that in here. What I really like, obviously, yeah. is this. Yeah, these, these cupboards are brilliant, like really well made. Um, you've got storage on both the top and bottom, but this, these hinges are really nicely done, really nice. I think you can change the colour of these. We'll have a look at, um, as in like you can on the fly press buttons and it'll change the colour of the LEDs. Look above your head as well. A huge skylight which can open using that. That's it closing but it's already open. You have a hanging rail up here. Can you see that? There's a vent uh, next to the um, the skylight but this is all storage all around here that's excellent storage space isn't it that's a big cupboard and, and it goes down the sides as well right let's have a look oh what's that there oh look at that there's another bit of the kitchen a bit of the kitchen light switches and then you've also got storage underneath the uh underneath the bed but we'll show you that when we look outside, around the side there. Come and take a look in the bathroom. 
so you can see here we've got quite a lot of storage space down at the bottom good sized toilet there is a shower and it's going to be hot and cold water which is very exciting and the head moves and then you can actually attach it somewhere else i'm going to assume i can't see where you might attach it at the moment i'm going to assume there must be somewhere now behind this mirror is of course more storage and i quite like these rails these are quite good obviously to stop everything from falling out everything's sort of a plasticky thing so it won't go mouldy because it's all wet resistant essentially this is our entire wet room and as you can see it's got a plug in fact it's got two plugs down the bottom so even if you're not on a level pitch you can still use the shower and of course lovely vent up the top and moving on to the kitchen of course bw have taken the idea from the californias uh, the previous california story that they're going to use a split lid so you've got two hob there with a split lid over the top and then you've got your sink of course again with hot and water uh, hot and water hot and cold water which is a nice treat that is pretty impressive storage space nice big drawers positive catches as well that's nice to see you don't see that very often <coughs> Yeah, plenty of storage space. And then the fridge is actually in the end here. It's a good sized fridge. You have an ice tray. But yeah, what's this on the end here? And another bit of a, another bit of a worktop as well. Impressive. So you actually have a lot of workspace here. Yeah. Despite the fact that they've managed to fit it into quite good space. Looks like a very funky control panel, if it focuses. So yeah, you've got all sorts of different features on here. Oh, the light thing, so. But yeah, so I don't know if that's just if that's actually in action yet. It might might not be quite ready, or maybe I just don't know what mode. I'm doing. But um, yeah, more storage around here, and then the 600 has a bed up here, which you would. I'm not going to do it because I don't really know how to do it. But that folds out and uh, comes across the front here with these supports. Um, but yes, yeah, it's 170 centimeters long, so mainly for kids. But um, yeah, yeah, fantastic um, for kids. The 680, which is the bigger one, does not have that. That is strictly a two berth. And then, usual cab as you'd expect. Um, very similar to the, the T6 that we've got, but just that bit bigger because it's a crafter. And then you have a half, half dinette and you can remove the table as well, which gives you a bit more space. So in, interestingly, compared to the concept, the California XXL, this bit up at the front here was like a skylight, I believe. But on this one, it's actually a solar panel, which is quite funky. Um, so yeah, that'll be an optional extra, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, quite interesting. I'd, I think you're probably gonna want to have a solar panel on the front there, because that's if it's all white on there, uh, I think that might be a little bit uglier. <laughs> than uh, than having the black there but um yeah it's it's interesting it looks better in the flesh than it does in photos i must say um this color works quite well actually it's good that they've done the two-tone color it just breaks it up that little bit but yeah we were talking about the the side extensions which if i hold the camera here you can see that you just got that um that extra bit that gives you the the space in the bed uh, that'll be your uh, power inlet uh, you can see there that you have the access for the cassette toilet and also the Truma heating quite interesting how the blinds work so similar to uh, coach built motomes you have like a, a net on that bit and then blinds on there I'd like to have seen slightly bigger windows, I think, in the back here. But thankfully, because we have that um, skylight, it still keeps it nice and light in the back here. And then at the top there, it looks like you have the winder for the awning with its own location. And then the chairs uh, that we have in the California Ocean are in the, installed on the back here. 
we have quite a nice size um, garage in this one with big cupboards that do open up quite hard to see in there I'm afraid but yeah that gives you access to the uh, gas locker also this um, this portion of the bed does fold up as well up and out of the way uh, allowing you to store bicycles this here what have we got here Ah, so an outside shower with hot water as well which is nice nice for washing off after being in the beach so yeah nice you can't access it at the minute but there's an also a, an electric pull out step from too late so a quick uh, run through the equipment that comes on the California 600 this one's fitted with the 2 litre TDI 4 motion is a, that'll be an option I'm sure um, large skylight dinette uh, you've got a 70 litre fridge the fresh water tank is 110 litres uh, with a 90 litre waste water tank you've got 12 volt 230 volt there's also a mosquito net and that's standard equipment which is quite nice to see and uh, then optional equipment which is selected on this so the loft bed for children is an option uh, this one's got tow bar navigation things like that uh, but yeah the bike oh the ambient lighting that we saw that's an option but yeah interesting to see Welcome aboard the California Grand. This is the 680, which means it's 6.8 metres, which is amazing. So the idea with this one is it's a two berth instead of the four berth like the 600 is. So it doesn't have the bed above here. And you'll notice it doesn't have the big hump on the top of, the, of, on the top of its head as well. Now the one bed is actually huge. And instead of being lengthways, this is actually long ways instead of the van, in, inside the van. So the bed, itself is 200 centimeters long which is massive and 170 centimeters wide so very easily you can fit two people extremely comfortably in here as you can see that is a huge bed oh. this one doesn't have the extra bit sticking out the side because obviously you sleep long ways instead but instead it has lots of windows which is quite nice i really like the windows in it as well and one of the things i love about our california is the fact that in the morning when you're sleeping in the downstairs bed you can just raise the blind and have a look at whatever view is out there. Yeah. This is something that is really interesting to people like us, I think. Yeah. One thing I would say, though, is I don't know how you can get a mattress topper or a, a duvet cover, or, sorry, a mattress cover that fits this. I'm sure VW will sell one that you can. There's also a skylight above, if you'd like to open that, Lizzie. See, that brings in even more light. That is amazing. That's so that's really good. Nice. nice big. And obviously, window. one of the things that people know me for is the mood lighting. This has got some beautiful mood lighting around it. And I believe all these colours are changeable. So you yeah. can go through the rainbow of colours that there are. We've just found out that on the 600, it's an optional extra. So I imagine it's an option on this one as well. Right. Yes. Um, I believe this one, that the 680, starts at 57,000 euros. As you'll see in this one with satellite dish on and all sorts, this is nearer 80,000 euros. However, we were expecting it to start more at 70,000 pounds, so interesting. It's quite, it's quite competitive compared to the other ones. Now this one is extremely well built in my opinion. These cupboards have such a nice movement to them. Yeah. You can see they just come out a bit first and then they go up. This one here has a cupboard at the end of the bed which is nice actually nice big hanging cupboard um, and also it's got a storage space for Bentley underneath it, it has <laughs> um, plenty of space underneath the bed actually with again so you can take those shutters out if you want to um, lift the bed up you can take those shutters out and store bicycles in here there's also cupboards under here there's loads of storage space in this one um, that one is just a normal cupboard and then on this side again is a normal cupboard and then at the back you have access for your um, gas bottles moving on to the washroom 
So it's exactly the same washroom as in the 600, which is plenty big enough actually. It's really nicely done. Um, everything, yeah, the quality is just brilliant. Again, you have um, a little cupboard there for your toiletries and then the sink just flips down like that um, for your wash basin. It's an electric flush toilet and then kitchen wise you have access to the sink and you have access to the, the twin burner hob there as well. Now you'll notice that the kitchen is actually quite significantly longer and that's just because the van is longer, they've actually used some of the space. Instead of having that little table that pulls out, this one doesn't have that. Instead it's actually got more storage space underneath it and it's got this extra bit here. Really positive catches again on all of these. Now you'll notice there isn't a cupboard here and again that's because they've got it here. That's an enormous bridge. I saw that it had a mosquito blind, you can see there, which pulls across the full width of the uh, of the door which is great for when you're in these hot climates with mosquitoes something we'd have liked to see in scotland <laughs> same again with your uh, half dinette so these two seats spin round so all four of you can, can sit around the uh, table and eat and a lot of these um, half dinettes don't allow you to remove the table but this one does you can remove the table put it away and it gives you a lot more floor space and also one of the big things that we've noticed is with these is you actually have a flat floor throughout a lot of them have steps which when you have a dog who wants to lie down somewhere um, you want a nice flat floor and this if you remove the table looks like it's got quite a bit of space for Bentley it's which great. which is nice and I think this sort of floor as well is quite grippy so you'd end up the dog would still be able to grip quite nicely on the floor I think he would travel quite well in something like this as well he would love that bed back there you also have a drawer oh no it's like a shelf thing let me just change these so much white in here that it's hard to keep the camera um, exposure correct but yeah you've even got a little shelf out the side here uh, with USB sockets and all sorts So we just had a bit more information about the heating system in particular. Now, obviously it's got hot and cold water on board, so the heating system is really important. And as standard, it comes with a gas heating system. So it can fit two 11 kilogram gas bottles in it, or if you want to, you can actually option the diesel heater, which is the same one as what's in the California Ocean at the moment. Now that has obviously worked out really well for most people who have the California, so I'd say it's probably an option worth getting. Um, so that diesel heater will heat up both the hot and well, it will heat up the hot water, sorry, and it will do the heating system as well, which is blown air heating. Both the 600 and the 680 come with 177 brake horsepower engines. Now, as standard, that's a manual transmission, but you can upgrade to an automatic eight-speed gearbox, and I like an automatic, so that's pretty good for me. So let us know what you think. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer the 600? Do you prefer the 680? My personal preference is I really like the 680. The 680 is a bit more appropriate for people like me and Sean where it's just the both of us and the dog, but the 600 can fit four people inside and that is pretty impressive, especially considering it's got a bathroom on board and it looks really, really good and really comfy. But let us know what you think in the comments. It's been really good having a really good look around both the 600 and the 680. And a big thank you to VW for paying for us to fly here, which was really kind of them. Because we really, really wanted to have a look and that was very generous of them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. We're going to try and borrow one in the future if we can. VW, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And thank you very much for watching. See you soon.